I love what I did in the travel space. Absolutely a game changer. What I've been able to do, been able to take over 350 vacations since 2014. Insane, right? So traditionally, I did your normal financial services type work. I'm putting money in, in annuities. I'm putting, well, not necessarily annuities, more cash value life insurance than anything. But I was looking for a way for me to start to turn something on on autopilot, right? So uh, in 2020, I joined another network marketing company that was in the health and wellness and the, and the money space. So I really tuned in on the money side. And they were talking some languages that I did not know. They were talking about artificial bots and, and nodes and all this kind of stuff. And they mentioned a company called Endotech, okay? Endotech is the parent company of Daisy. So to ISIS's point, when I saw what it took to get an Endotech, and I saw through that company, I can get an Endotech for $1,000, say less, because I definitely didn't have a million, all right? And I didn't have that extra $125,000 as a performance fee to put up, because Endotech typically traded money for institutional investors, right? So that means you, you, you got the big boys out there, right? So um, after being in Endotech for a couple of months and seeing their results, my account was growing. It was trading just like it was supposed to be, right? And then they said, well, we're going to change the game. Well, we're going to do a crowdfunding model that allows anybody to participate in. What I mean by anybody is who got $100 laying around that they want to put to work, okay? Now, DAISY is not an investment. It is a crowdfunding model. Meaning Daisy's whole goal, his whole purpose is to help take that company Endotech public, which is why when you put money into Daisy, they actually give you shares. Okay. Now, when Daisy goes public, you can take those shares and you can sell them, you can keep them and let them maybe turn into an Amazon someday to where they're $1,200 a share. I don't know where it's going to go, right? But it allows you to get in for a small fee of $100. Okay. Now, I want to show you guys kind of the inner workings of how Daisy work. And, and again, um, we're going to be talking super high level. I'm not going to get into, you know, deep crypto talk here, but hopefully you guys have a working knowledge of how crypto works in this space. Okay. Now, uh, some of the questions that we had last time is, is kind of how the money works. Guys, if this is your bill money or your lunch money, this is, this is not for you. Do not put that money in here. Anytime you make an investment, there's a phrase that you probably heard a thousand times, and this is a thousand and one. Do not invest more than you're willing to lose, okay? Now, are the results guaranteed? Absolutely not, okay? They're going to be highs and lows at some point. But what I can tell you is that Daisy has been rocking. So before I get into Daisy, I'm going to show you a little bit about Endotech so you can kind of get a perspective on what's what, okay? So this is my Endotech company. So we, we I mean, my account, we see we got 1648 in here, okay? Now, you see a bit of a difference between my Binance in there because I have some other coins in here that I hold outside of just what's trading uh, in Endotech. So when I look at it, Endotech has two different platforms. You have the um, AI beta and you have the AI alpha, okay? So when people are talking about, well, man, can this thing absolutely, you know, blow me out of the water to what I can do? Sure. Let me give you perspective. Okay, this particular fund, has been around for a little minute now, okay? So if I came in and said, well, I wonder what kind of historical performance I, I would have gotten, then I can see, and you can see here, I started my account in October of 2020, okay? It's been running for 817 days. That was my initial balance. That's my current balance. Now, mind you, I have taken a lot of money out of it. I've taken profit out multiple times over to go into different crypto strategies. So you might see this on the surface, like, well, that, Jeff, that's, that's not super exciting. This is about a 47% return. But when I look at how much I've made when I've moved money away, it's, it's I, I don't even know what that return is, okay? For example, I took a portion of my money out of here to start Daisy. I took about $1,000 out. And if you look at where my Daisy and stuff is trading on the crypto side and stuff like that, you will see I've made more than what I put up many times over, okay? Now, there's a lot of strategies that I have access to within here. Now, if you are in the United States, okay, this technically is not something that's open in the U.S., okay? But from what I've heard people are doing is using a VPN and they're getting access. We happen to live outside of the country, so we get the perks of being international, right? There's a lot of things that float around in different countries that you will never hear about in the United States outside of people like us 
bringing it to you simply because the U.S. wants to regulate everything. So when you think about your money turning over many times without regulation, the U.S. doesn't like that because that means they can't figure out how to tax. It, okay. Now, you have a lot of uh, strategies that you have inside of here, right? If I want to come in here and add a different strategy, I can. So these are examples of different strategies that we have, and I'm showing you this for a reason, okay? When I look at this beta strategy, and I go down here, it's been running for two years, 25 days. <clears throat> if I put $10,000 in there, that would have grown right now to $40,000, okay? Now, let's think about it. How many of you probably had $10,000 sitting in the bank over the last couple of years? If you haven't, you don't have to raise your hand, okay? But if you have, did your account go anywhere near 40000 Did you forex your money inside of that bank account? Absolutely not. So this has been running. You got 18 winning months and six losing months. So it's showing you what's what. Can you lose money from time to time? Absolutely. Okay, it happens. But the longer you stay in, the less those losses don't make that much of a difference. All right. Now, inside the U.S., you only have access to the beta strategy. This is an alpha strategy, which is a little riskier, if you will. It's, it's taking bigger positions and swings. 10,000 would have turned into 74,000 in the last two years. All right, this thing is at 24 winning straight months, no L's. So is it guaranteed to grow? Absolutely not. But this is a pretty good track record. And I do not mind 7X of my money in a two year period, especially if I got money just sitting there, okay? So just kind of running through, you guys see what, what, what the flow is. 10,000 would have turned into 60, that's a 6X. 22 winning months, two losing months. And this is, this is the company that's managing money on the daisy side. So I'm showing you this to give you a perspective of how this is flowing. So this is what Indotech has been doing in the game, okay? 22 winning months, that was the 8X return on the money. Another beta strategy. And then once I finish this out, I'll jump over to actual daisy so you will see what's what. All right. If you would have invested two Bitcoins, that would be up to 12.4 Bitcoin. That might not seem like a big deal, but think about when Bitcoin was trading at what, $64,000 a coin. Now, again, go back five years ago and look at the price of Bitcoin at that time and say you put in two of them. Now, I know that's low right now because we're in crypto renter, but again, what happens when things go back up? What happens if Bitcoin shoots over $100,000 a coin right now? All right, big difference. And lastly, on this piece, let's let this reset. Two Bitcoin would have turned into 34 Bitcoin over a five-year period. So these are long-term strategies. You can take short-term plays from it. So if I wanted to come over here, remember, my Endotech is connected to my Binance. And if my money is running like that, this is my Binance account. All you do is connect this to an API and it trades on your behalf. So I can pull money out of here whenever I want and do whatever I want to. Daisy is a different animal because it is crowdfunded. Let me refresh this and see if it's going to let me log in. So you have two arms of Daisy right now. You have the crypto side and you have the Forex side. We are in a crypto winter, meaning everything is kind of low on the crypto side. I personally would say you might want to look at the Forex. Forex trades five days a week. Okay, so we, we, we know this. Now, as I log in, Daisy is built on a smart contract. So anytime money goes in, it automatically just routes wherever it needs to go based on the smart, smart contract. Okay, typically... Once or twice a month, we're doing uh, Daisy corporate calls and they're letting you know what's going on, what new strategies are rolling out, what promotions are running out there. And there's two different sides to this. OK, you can come in and you can actually just put your money in here and let it chill. OK, I was looking for a strategy like this because I've been in network marketing. If you've ever been in, it's really based on recruit, recruit, recruit. OK, even though, you know, you don't necessarily have to recruit, you can just take advantage of the product. Most people might say, hey, I want the option to earn some money. You can earn some money by bringing some people in there today, but you don't have to. There's no monthly fees going on. There's no high dollar initial payment. You put $100 over there if that's all you want to do, and you let it run. So if you notice here, we have 10 different tiers, and we have the VIP section. Each tier 
has a different price point. You cannot skip tiers. So if you came in here at tier one, that's $100, okay? Now, there are some transactional fees that you're gonna need. So you're probably gonna need maybe $120 to $140 to start, depending on how you get in and, and the cost of uh, crypto. So you're gonna need some money in USDT and you're gonna need some money in Tron, okay? You can use Coinbase, you can use CoinZoom, um, whatever, whatever um, exchange you use make sure it has the ability to use Tron because this is built on uh, the Tron blockchain. So if I come in tier one, boom, I put $100 in and I'm good to go. If I wanna do tier two, I gotta put 200 in. And then 400, and you notice this is doubling. So I can't go ahead and say, you know what, shoot, I got 1600, I'm gonna put it in tier five right now and just jump into tier five. You cannot do that. You have to stair step your way up, okay? Now, when you log into Daisy, you see crowd fund, crowd, well, crowd and fund. Half of your contributions, no matter what tier you're doing, well, in the first couple of tiers, half of it goes to the fund side and half of it goes into the crowd side. Crowd is crowdfunding. This is you saying, okay, great, I'm, I'm putting this money over here. When you do that, let's say I came in and I funded tier three. 200 goes into the crowdfund side and 200 goes into the trading side. I only have $200 working for me from a trading standpoint, okay? When, when I get to tier five, it's a 70-30. So 70% 70 of our money is going over here to trading. For example, if I come over here and I say, I want to contribute more and I'm going to put in 1,600, 12, well, uh, 1120 goes into the Forex side and 480 goes into the crowdfunding side. And that's also giving me eight shares. Now, again, the shares are important because when Endotech goes public, these shares have a value, just like if you wanna go buy some Facebook, some Google or whatever, right? And all I gotta do is confirm my payment. As long as I have that much in that account ready, it's gonna fund that tier. Now, when we go over here and we look at the results, all right, you got the crypto side and you got the Forex side. Today, we're focusing on the Forex side. So I'm gonna show you my personal. Right now, I've totally contributed about 20, I mean about $3,200. And right now, if I wanted to, I can withdraw $6,700. So think about that. This thing has been running now at eight months or so, and I've more than doubled my money. And you can look at the performance right here. Current balance 11.9. There's a performance fee. The performance fee is 30%. Okay. What that means is every six months they go in and say, okay, we've been trading on your behalf for 30 for, uh, for six months. We're going to take out 30%. That's their profit. They take that out and then you can withdraw the rest if you want to. Okay. This is what this red is. These greens are deposits. This red is withdrawal. So you can see they took out about $1,000. And I'm still sitting really good in my account. Now, when I look at the overall corporate side, you're going to see exactly how much money is on this side. So nine winning months, we have brought in $116 million into this in nine months. That's a lot of contributions. OK, they transfer some from crypto because crypto is, is, is low right now. So why not be able to take advantage of these gains that we're getting on the Forex? So this is the overall current balance. And this is how much money has been withdrawn from people's accounts in the last nine months. Fifty four point two million dollars. And we got a total profit of one seventy three. So Daisy is absolutely rocking. Right now, Daisy is growing at almost 5% a week, okay? That's some significant growth. About We're averaging about 22% a month in returns, okay? So when I, say, when I say this is major, it's absolutely major. For the people who say, you know what, cool, you know, I, I think I want a longer presentation because, again, we're going high level. Go over here to daisycrowd.com. I'm going to put that in the chat and you're good to go. And I'm also gonna put Endotech in the chat. So that way, if you guys wanna go read more about Endotech, you can. You can learn about Dr. Anna Becker, who is the brain shark behind these strategies. 
and you can see what's going on. For the people who really like to be about their travel life, you can hop over here. Um, I don't know if they're still selling tickets. If you want to go to Dubai, you can go to our corporate event in Dubai. And anybody that goes, they get put in a, a special trading pool and they divide all the money that was spent for people to get there and what happens from a trading standpoint during that time frame. And they divide it up amongst the people who are there. So there's a lot of opportunities to grow. Okay. So this is the high level of what's going on. Even if you go to the Daisy Crowd, you can see you got the, uh, the, the attachment to Endotech. If you want to build this from a business standpoint, click on the presentation and you can walk through and look at all of the, all of the ways that you can earn, earn income by building this. Today is just about, listen, I want to set some money on autopilot. I want to take advantage of the AI stuff that I've been hearing about. And now that's in the crypto space, I want to get in on that. Okay. So quick recap, Daisy, you can come in on the crowd side and the fun side with your contribution. There's no way to, to evade that at all. Anytime you put contributions in there, some of it's going to a crowd fund and some of it's going to the trading fund, okay? And you have the ability to build this from an income standpoint. All right, what questions do we have? Anybody got any questions, definitely come off mute or put it in the chat bar. Anybody in the Facebook world got any questions? Oh, sorry. Silence is golden. I always look at, if you don't have any questions, that means I did a really good job explaining this or you missed something and like, I'm embarrassed to ask. It's okay. Don't be embarrassed, right? Uh, the, 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 there's no wrong question to, to ask or answer. And I, says, I think you said you had a couple of questions that people had, had hit you up offline when we did this. Uh, if you want to sh uh, shoot some of those questions out, I can answer those just in case some of the people who might be on right now uh, maybe they have that question they're afraid to ask. Okay, so one of the questions that I got was pertaining to the levels. Now, I'm, I got to word this in a way where it makes sense. So um, the person is aware that, you know, the only one that they can withdraw is their profit only. They are aware that they cannot pull out their uh, initial. So basically the question they said, if, if you take money out of your gains, for instance, let's just say you're in tier four. How much money do you have to have in tier four? All right. So at tier four, that is $800. Okay. So tier four, let's just say you got $800 in there. That's where you are. Now, let's just say you got a $2,000 profit. You want to mm -hmm. pull the profit out. It's going to leave the 800 in there. So that mm -hmm. means it's going to keep you at that same tier, right? Right. So every time you pull out at that current tier, you're going to still stay at that tier, right? Right. There's no way for you to drop a tier because you took money out. It doesn't work like that because your initial contribution always stays in there. So there's no, absolutely no way for you to get in the lower tier by taking money out. Okay. And then another question was about the VPN. Somebody was asking, uh, like, how does it work? Is it free? Yeah, absolutely. So the VPN that I use is called Winscribe, okay? So if you go on the Winscribe, now, you can pay for it if you want to. For me, I decided to go ahead and pay. Because I live international and I do business internationally, it made more sense for me to just go ahead and pay. And I think it's like... I don't know, 50, fifty dollars a year or something like that. But I think once you sign up, and if you put your email address and actually create an account, I think they give you like ten gigs a month for free. That's a lot of space when you think about 
you're not going to just really spend a lot of time using your VPN when it goes to checking this. You might be on for 15 minutes tops if you're trying to set up your account, right? And then to check it, literally log in, check it, log back out, turn the VPN off. So 10 gigs, I really don't see anybody using 10 gigs a month whatsoever. I personally don't, okay? Now, there are benefits if you find other opportunities that are elsewhere in the country. There are benefits to having your VPN on. So the way it works, Winscrop, you see here, I literally do the drop down and I choose any other country that is not the US. So if I want to go over here, cool. And once now I'm pinging from that country and I can log in. Okay. What I also did is I have the Winscribe extension as well. Okay. Again, I do a lot of international. but Winscribe is free. So if you see right now, now I'm in a different country already. All right. I don't know if you right. cut out or you stopped talking. Oh, wait, like now, no, I, I just stopped talking. That, that was it, just showing okay. how Winscribe works. Okay, cool. Um. I think that was the only question I can think of right now. Okay, good deal. All right, guys, any questions? Because if not, we definitely want to hold you with, 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 a, with a lot of silence. And if you got if you got a question and you don't want to um, come off camera or whatever, just put it in the chat and you can send it straight to either one of us. So that way it doesn't show up in the main thread. Oh, I, I gave this tip away the other day. I'm gonna give it to you guys again. Um, here's a way for you to find the money, okay? Number one, credit cards, okay? And when I say credit cards, I do not mean attaching your credit card. There's no way to attach your credit card to this <laughs> and, and, and uh, automatically put money into it. It doesn't work like that. Now you can use your credit card to buy crypto now. Just understand like uh, if your credit card has international fees, whatever crypto exchange you're using might charge you uh, some type of international fee. But what I'm saying, credit cards, if you have a credit card that has points, whether it's travel points or cash back points, in your typical everyday spending, use your credit card. I rarely ever use my debit card. I use my credit card for everything and then I just pay the credit card off. The main reason why I do that is because I want the points. So let's say I got a card that has one and a half percent cash back. And let's say I run $10,000 a month to it. Well, that's $150, right? Big woo. But let's say I'm shopping. Now I can use a website called Rakuten. And Rakuten might say, hey, Nike has a sale right now, or, or Nike has a promo, and they give you 8%. Now, all of a sudden, I put in my, 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 my numbers. I go spend something at Nike. I'm getting 8% back from Nike or Rakuten, and I'm getting 1.5% back from the credit card. Now I'm at nine and a half percent. Now I just made $950. Boom, now I put this 950 over here to work. Now, if you really want to flip the game, you can do something called manufacturing spending on your credit cards. I might go to Dick's Sporting Goods and go buy four or five sets of golf clubs, take them back the next day or a store across town, told them I don't need them. And I say, listen, I, I swipe my credit card on this. Oh, I left that credit card at home. Can we just return it to the debit card? Oh, when they say put your card in, put my debit card in. Now that $10,000 or whatever that I just spent that Dix goes to my debit card. Again, swipe credit card. I get $10,000 worth of the spins, insert the debit card. I get the cash back on my debit card. Now, if I want to, I don't take that $10,000 at that point and put it in the daisy. No, that'd be crazy. Then you take the $10,000 to pay your credit card back off. And now I just got those points. And I didn't spend a dime. You can do that as many times as you want to in a month and run up points. And what typically happens if you're maxing out your credit card doing this manufacturing spend strategy, the credit card company says, ooh, 
you don't have a high enough limit. Apparently, we need to increase your limit. And this is how they'll start to increase your limit without you asking, because they track what you're doing. Like I literally just got approved for a car the other day and I'm going to run that play on that car and I'm going to get it to maybe 15, 20, $30,000. And then I'll probably open another card or two. I can do with balance transfers. Since I run a business, I can run that through my Stripe account. I might pay a 3% fee. But again, if I'm thinking long-term, having access to, you know, 60, 70, $80,000 worth of credit, when the kind of when I want to move money around makes way more sense. So it's worth me paying that little transactional fee to do that to build up more capital. So and again, not having the money is not really an excuse if you can if you know how to use and leverage credit. All right, it looks like we got a couple of questions that came in. Got a little late. Was uh what was explained just now? Oh, man. Ooh, okay. <laughs> uh, I got to catch the replay on that. <laughs> you got you to catch that replay. It's, uh, it's, it's crypto and Forex auto trading. That's the high level that, that I can give you. Um, okay. Uh, is it Gerard or Jerry? How do you say that? Yeah, audio issues, but can you tell me about the referral? Okay, you talking about the DAISY referral program or the referral program for... Uh, Winscrop, not, not exactly sure what part you're, you're asking that question from. So I'll, I'll give you a second to um, do the Jerry. If it's easier, man, just unmute and, and ask that way. Okay. All right. When you dip into the, um, to the referral side, now, now you're in a bit of a different ball game here. <clears throat> I'm gonna try to explain this in a simple way, but there are several layers of compensation inside the referral model. All right, let me let this come up. All right. All right. Now, disclaimers, again, past performance has nothing to do with future, all that fun stuff, not open in the US. Consult with your own financial advisor before you make uh, any financial moves. There's nothing guaranteed in here. Again, your money is traded and Daisy does everything possible to build you wealth, okay? All right, let me get to this because again, some of the stuff we kind of already covered, you know, who Dr. or you've heard Dr. Anna's name. Again, this is important. So uh, Damien, if you're still on, pay attention because you're gonna catch some of this. Uh, Jerry, your, your mic is, is, is scratchy. I don't know if you're trying to ask a question or, or what happened there. Okay. So this is an equity crowdfund model. Why is it called equity crowdfund? Because remember, every time you get a share, you get to participate in the equity potential that Endotech can have once Endotech goes public. So if we see right now, you need 100 in every single tier double. So 100, 200, 400, 800, 16, 64, and so on and so forth. Tiers three to 10, okay, 70%. So now all of a sudden, you got more money going toward trading when you start getting through it's uh, tiers three to 10. What I mean by that is if I come over here and I want to contribute, you see how it says 50-50? So 50% goes into the crowd and 50% goes into the fund. Tier two, exact same thing. Tier three, different. It's not, it's not one and one. So now you got 70% going on the, on the trading side. This is why you want to start to get to some of those higher tiers so you can put more of your money at work. So for me, the next tier I'll go to will be here. Okay. Um, you know what? It's going gonna, it's gonna to give me my execution. Let me cancel that out. Okay. I just canceled that piece. Typically, you will see a little red thing that says, ooh, the user just uh, canceled that, that trade. Okay. Let me pop it over here. 
Okay, so that's what I mean by the tiers and how much money goes toward it, okay? Now, every contributor from tiers two through 10, they're gonna get 5% in equity share. So again, once the company goes public, then that's when you will see the share price, okay? Now, what happens if Indotech doesn't go public? Then they'll essentially pay you out a 5% dividend per share that you have. Okay, some of this stuff you've already seen, so I'm gonna kind of kind of go high level with it. All right, high frequency trading average between five to eight percent a week. Okay, again, is this guaranteed? No, but you see over the first six weeks, we have a forty percent profit in six weeks. Okay, that means if you put a thousand dollars on the trading side, you have four hundred dollars already in the first six weeks. We've seen what it's done right now over three hundred percent. And in case you don't know what I mean. Pop over here and, and I'll show you what I mean. So you guys get a, a different level of presentation. You see what the presentation says and I'm gonna show you what a live account says. Total combined profit, 313%, okay. Okay, so same thing I showed you, percent of line trading. And then as you get to these, you see where, where it starts to happen. Sometimes they run a promo where they might do 90-10. That means 90% of your money is going toward the trading. Okay, so that's why you want to kind of pay attention to what's going on. And we have Facebook groups and all kinds of groups like that that we use. We on Telegram as well. Uh, and again, you can kind of jump in there if you really want to get plugged into what's what. All right, so you see this during the month of June, we had 90% of contributions going to a live trading. That's what I mean by um, some of the promos that they run, okay? Then they start running stuff for people who are tier five and above. I am tier five and above, and I got there because I wanted to have more money going to a trader. Okay, let me jump down here. All right, to the referral part. I did the first piece for you, Damien. So hopefully you was paying attention. You got a high level of kind of what we covered. Now, Gerard, I hope I'm saying that right. Personal referrals. You get 5% of the contributions that are going in. So anybody that you bring in, you're gonna get 5% of whatever they put in. So every time they go a level up, you're gonna get 5% of that. What I like about this being a smart contract is you don't have to wait. So if you went out and you found people and you put $100,000 of the contributions in through referrals, that's $5,000 that you just made. And if they continue to upgrade, you're gonna keep getting that. Now, you got trading rewards. So now all of a sudden, as the company is profiting on trades, you can get up to three and a half percent of the trading rewards. You can get a check match of 10%. So the people you bring underneath you, if they're out running up a bag, you're gonna get 10% of that. Then you can get into bonus pools. On the team side, now that's personal. On the team side, you can get up to 4% of all tiers. So as you're starting to build through there, you can get up to 4%. So let me show you what that looks like. So when you go down here, you see the qualified generations, all right? So there's no requirements whatsoever on Gen 1 and Gen 2. Gen 3, you need at least three people in with total contributions of over $1,000. Gen 4, you need at least six people in total contributions of over $2,000. So you can see what the requirements look like, okay? And this is gonna be from the personal side, what you've kind of personally done. When I go here and look at the team side, a different ball game. So if you see here, I personally put in five people, right? And I can kind of start to see how these numbers will add up as we go down. If I go over here to tier two, this was done by spillover. So if you're in the network marketing area, you know how spillover works. So even though I might've personally put in five, I got another, what, 13 people from spillover on level three. On level four, I got 19, I got 28, 23. So the more levels you move up, the more it unlocks other levels as well. Now they ran a promo where if you hit tier five, you, they allowed you to unlock all 10 levels, okay? So with all 10 levels, then you're in a situation where it opens you up to more compensation. Okay, and then the bonus pools. So as you continue to bring people in, you can get into the bonus pools. This is where you have maybe brought in um, 24 people and $128,000 in contributions. You can become what's called pay setter gold. 
That means you get to open up to about three and a half percent of all profits made. So everybody's in that bonus pool, that money gets paid out to, okay? So going back here to reports, you can see here the total number of pay setters. We have 830 pay setters and then total gold leaders. To hit gold leader, what you need to do is essentially help three other people hit pay setter. And then they open you up and you get almost another 2% in commissions and this is starting to get residually right so now anytime somebody makes a withdrawal you can get a portion of that what happens is when they take this performance fee that every six months they take the performance fee they'll take a portion of that performance fee and it gets divvied out among uh the members who hit these ranks as well all right so uh jared if you go over here to daisy.crowd. Matter of fact, I'll go ahead and drop that in the chat. I think you might be able to hit that, go directly from there. You can go through and you can kind of see how the bonus starts to, starts to match out, okay? Because again, we, we didn't want to get into comp because the focus on this is not because a lot of people just came to learn how to trade, not necessarily how to build this for a business. If you want to hit me up directly and talk, we can talk offline, that presentation on the Daisy Crowd website will go over this as well. And again, if you want any other any other kind of questions, feel free to hit me up. But again, there's a lot of comp that's baked into this thing uh, for the people who really want to go out and earn money. And we'll show you what it looks like to go build that. Any other questions on this outside of, uh, of, of comp questions? Nope. Okay, I see any other questions came to came to you at all? Uh no, no. I, I feel like, you know, with the uh trading is it's pretty much uh straightforward. Um what would you like to in closing, because I think the uh the last call we did, people were still kind of unclear on what the steps are to get started. Like I know um, what I've been telling people to do is get the VPN get their coin zoom or you know whichever crypto platform they're going to use so they can get the usd i mean the tron mm -hmm. um and then getting their uh tron link wallet to send the money there and then i i sent them the uh the link for daisy so um pretty much from there i sent them the uh the video to get started so do you have any additional steps on what people could do when they get off the phone yeah, that, that'll be high level for the people who, who, who want to go ahead and jump in and get this thing rolling. Again, hopefully you're familiar with crypto because you're going to need to know how to send money through different exchanges. OK, so go ahead and make sure you get your your, your Tron link wallet again, set up the, the whole, you know, kid and caboodle on that. If you're on the laptop, download the Tron link extension, the, the, the Chrome browser extension, because, again, that makes it easy to do it that way. Get your exchange. There we go. Uh, get your exchange and then move Tron over to CoinLink. I mean, to, to, to move Tron over to TronLink and move some USDT over as well, because you're going to need the hundred dollars in USDT. And then I would say probably have, I don't know, maybe $20 worth of worth of Tron um, in your Tron wallet to take care of the gas fees. Again, none of what I just said should be foreign to you if you have been dealing with crypto in terms of gas fees, exchanges and wallets. That should be second nature at this point, okay? Uh, and again, once you do that, you can probably be up and running in about 20 minutes if you can get everything set up and moved over. Yep, okay, cool. And I would definitely say maybe about 130, 140. I think I had like 20 and it was just more. I, I would definitely say have about 140 in there um because i was hitting jeff up trying to see if he can cash at me so so uh so yeah you want to just you know put that extra 140 on there and then you, even if you have some left over you're going to end up using that for the next time you fund your next tier so yeah without further ado if you guys don't have anything else we don't want to hold you we don't want to overcook the grits i uh, literally just wanted to share this platform uh, with you guys because it's a great way to make money on autopilot it may seem a little complicated if you're new to crypto and you're just like oh my gosh i don't know how to do any of that 
But once you get it down step by step, it's going to be second nature to you. And it's going to be easier for you to do it, fund your account every time and just watch the money do what it's going to do. So, uh, Jeff, thank you so much for getting on here and uh, really breaking this down to the community. I thank you guys for taking the time and energy uh, to hop on here and, and, and better yourself, right? So um, if you guys are ready to get started, go ahead, uh, hit me up ASAP so I can send you the, the five, I think five step process, and then we can get you guys up and running. Don't be like me and get this information and then be like, I'm gonna do it soon, right? Because that's what I said. I said, I'm gonna do it soon. And I could have been started and I could have been already had, you know, more money in there. So it's no monthly fee. There's no annual fee. It's a no, like a no brainer. You know what I mean? So, all right, you guys have a great day. This was streamed live on my Facebook. So if you guys wanna go back and watch, you could definitely check it out on Facebook. All right, peace everybody. Thanks, Jeff.